Whether you're using automated devices or conventional lighting, the highlight and next last functions can come in handy during channel checks and when you want to isolate and modify channel levels within a group of selected channels. On my Congo Junior, I've preloaded the demo theater training project and have already turned the moving lights on. I'll grab control of them using a direct select. Now I've got control of all of my moving lights, and if I press highlight, it'll highlight all of the fixtures in the group, bringing them to full intensity, no color, and if there were gobos being used, they would also be returned to the open position. Now I can go down the line, one at a time, and check to make sure that each fixture is coming on. So if I were in an actual theater, I would be able to see right now if any of my fixtures were not coming on for whatever the reason. And if a fixture is at the zero intensity when it is highlighted, it'll also come on. So say that I wanted to point all the fixtures at one spot. I could go down the line, one at a time using the next function, and point them all where I want them to be. Now I still have full control of the entire group by pressing select all. If I turn off highlight, everything is still selected, and I can bring it to full intensity again. I'll switch my live screen out of the channel layout now so that you can see what it would look like in the normal channel view. Press highlight. Now notice that it doesn't actually change the level that's being shown, whether it's full or percentage. All it does is highlight the icon in red. And select all, and I've got them all highlighted in yellow. This has been a short lesson on using the next, last, select all functions in tandem with highlight to isolate and modify channels within a selected group.